Yes, yes, we are back. Welcome to another edition of Edi Amin TV's Talk My Truth. It's your guy, Edi. Appreciate y'all pulling back up. Man, it's been a big, it was a big August for us. Shout out to all of the new subscribers that's pulling up and rocking out with us. And shout out to you, the day ones that been there since we, we launched this, uh, this thing of ours. Edi Amin TV and the Talk My Truth segment. Um, what are we doing this week? Where are we going with it this week? We're going to go a couple places. First, I want to see if y'all remember this right here. Hold on, hold on. Teardrops and Closed Caskets, man. From the Still I Rise, Tupac and Outlaws, double platinum album that we dropped in uh, 1995. And we're coming up on the 25th anniversary of that project. Project that I personally am very proud of. And, um, you know, I'm proud of the way it came out. I'm proud of how it came together because what you hear from the Still I Rise album is a bunch of songs that were like in progress and they were in pieces. A lot of them were in pieces. They wasn't um, completed. They hadn't been mixed. They hadn't um, had the, you know, the final say so from Tupac or us. Like I said, they were works in progress. So when it came time to do that album in 1999, late 1998, 1999, if I remember correctly, we literally had to piece that thing together from a lot of different, um, from a lot of different places, man. And it was a labor of love, it wasn't easy. Of course, we had to, you know, um, we were still still dealing with the deaths of two of our members. And, and, you know, I say members as far as the group is concerned, but family, you know what I mean? Um, people I personally grew up with, I knew all my life, we were still dealing with that. So it was an emotional process for us as well, man. We did a lot of drinking. We did a lot of getting high. We did a lot of a lot of shit to heal and to numb the pain that we were dealing with while we were working on this project. But it was a labor of love and I have to uh, give credit where credit is due. Tupac's mother, Fanny Shakur, called us while we were out in Houston. We were working on a deal with Jay Prince and Rap A Lot Records. We had already did a bunch of songs and you know, had already started doing business with them. And um, the queen called. And you know, to paraphrase, y'all gotta get y'all back to LA. We got work to do. And um, of course, that's what we did. Um, we, we, we got back and, and, and went into the studio almost immediately and got to working on this project, Still I Rise. And I wanna talk about the song, Ted Drops a Closed Casket, because I posted something um, a couple of weeks ago. It was, a, uh, it was a portion of an interview from Drink Champs, and it was feature, featuring the directors or, or, or writer or creator. Uh, one of my favorite shows right now, man. I love this show. I love this show a lot, man. It's really dope shows. One of, it's one of the, you know, um, the few shows that had me interested in wanting more at the end, because it's only six episodes. And if you know what I'm talking about, it's called Supercell. Very, uh, very intelligent, clever show. And um, one of the few shows where you see um, people that look like this as quote unquote superheroes are having extra special powers. You, you, all, you always see a character here and then and, and, and a lot of the X-Men or the Marvel, uh, from the Marvel franchise, we're represented, of course, with the Black Panther movie and, and whatnot. And, uh, but this one, um, I like the way the characters are developed. Um, I like their backstories. It's very well written, um, almost envious of the writing. That's how good it is, you know what I mean? And as a writer, I appreciate great writing. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate great backstories. So, name of that show is Supercell, 
check it out. But that brings me to why I wanted to talk about Teardrops and Closed Casket, because the creator of that show was asked by Nori, um, if you had one music video that you could direct right now, and without hesitation, Ratman uh, responded Teardrops and Closed Caskets by Tupac and the Outlaws. Tupac. Fact. I ain't even had to ask. Tupac, bro. See what I'm saying? It be See Tupac. what I'm saying? Fact. Okay, Tupac okay. Now, is, is, is it a record that's already made, or is it a record that you want him to go in and make? Teardrops and Closed Caskets that he done with the Outlaws. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if he's got that. Only, only real Tupac is going to know that one, but that, that tune's deep. So the kind of shock, Nori. You know what I mean? I'm sure it's Nori is shocked a lot of the times when he get some of these um, Tupac answers that that um, he asks a lot. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's he, he knows. And he knows what he's doing by asking these questions. And um, I don't know if he was expecting that answer from Ratman, though. And so that was the answer he gave. And um, I was like, yeah, that's, that's what's up. That's, you know, um, it felt good to, to hear somebody acknowledge that song in particular because it's one of my favorite songs because of how it came together. Now, Tupac was always very, um, very, very much on us as far as being like a cohesive group. He felt like we weren't a group enough. We were more like separate entities, in which we were. We, we were dramacidal. We were fading with felony. We were Young Noble, we were Machiavelli. So we were all of these energies that came together to form what y'all know as the outlaws. But even though our backstories, we interacted at different points, for the most part, we weren't a traditional rap group. You know what I'm saying? We weren't a rap group like Bone Thugs and Harmony. You can hear their chemistry right out the gate. We were in a group like the Dog Pound. You can hear their chemistry right out the gate as well. And even though both of these groups went on to do solo projects, a lot of solo projects, successful solo projects, um, we were in the process of developing our chemistry. Me personally, I feel like the Outlaws as a group, our best chemistry hadn't happened yet. But Teardrops and Closed Caskets gave you a sneak peek of what that chemistry could be. Um, not on that track is Fatal and Young Noble, but you do have Gaddafi, Castro, Napoleon, myself, and Tupac Shakur, and the late, great Nate Dogg, who was singing the hook, who just happened to be walking down the hallway in can -Am. You know, a lot of times, features and songs like Badass was another one on um, Time Goes By, Puffin' On Lie, Crazy. You know, um, he just happened to be walking down the hallway. And Pac was like, yo! Type And that's how it was with Nate Dogg as well. Walking down the hallway. Pac like, yo, Nate! Whispered in his ear, ooh, this is what I want you to do. Nate went in there, we're alive. It was easy. It was a done deal. But we had that song written and performed by the time Nate did that hook. And... Again, Pac wanted us to be more like a group, so we sat in the booth and we wrote that song together, piece by piece. Every lyric you heard, we wrote together. Um, Tupac, of course, came up with the concept. He was, he was um, a storyteller, a writer. You know, in his truest essence, that's what Tupac was, a writer, storyteller, a songwriter, which is not, it's, it's different than a rapper. There's guys that can put together great bars, great metaphors, give you a solid hook, and give you a great rap record. That's dope. That's what hip hop is about. Tupac was a different animal. He was like a singer songwriter, like a Stevie Wonder, like a Marvin Gaye, like a Bob Dylan, like a John Lennon. These are people that can write you the song and deliver the song, but take you a place you never knew musically you could go, take you to a place lyrically that you will feel this in your gut for the rest of your life. So we sat down to do Teardrops and Closed Casket and Tupac came up with the story and then 
he wanted us to fill in the blanks. Like, okay, I'm gonna give y'all just a concept we're gonna go with. Like, you know what I'm saying? On some ghetto Romeo and Juliet type, um, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Some, some, uh, a story that you may have, that may in conceptually sound familiar, but we giving you our version. We giving you the thug version. We giving you the street version. And came up with these characters, Lil Mo, Trigger, Precious, just names that we just came up, chopping it up, sitting, blowing a little bit. And we came up with that song off a beat that QD3 brought through. Great track, by the way. I love the remix that came out on, you know, Stella Rise. I remember when we was working on it, Q came to the studio and he was like, yo, I wanna put some 80s drums on this. And that's why you hear that big snare on it because he wanted to put 80s drums on it. The original did have uh, the the uh, the computer love, it had that computer love groove to it um, as far as the drums is concerned. And Judy 3 flipped those drums and the final version is what we know and love to this day. Um, we had to rehearse that song a couple times, man, like because that song was done in one take. We went in the studio together. Pac had the engineers set up about two, three mics, and we all got to the, we all got to a mic. Pac picked where he wanted everybody to be. You know what I'm saying? And we got up in there on some Jackson Five shit, on some Temptation shit, on some Run DMC type shit, just going back and forth. But like I said, we had the song written out. You know what I'm saying? We basically had the parts we wanted to do. We rehearsed it a couple of times, and then. Pac hit, you know, hit the, hit the signal to the to the engineers. Let's 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 get this cracking. Let's do it. Let's go. And we had to go ahead and run it down. And we did that shit in one take. And that's teardrops and closed casket. One of my favorite songs. A song that will always be special to me. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. Coming from EDI, you know what it is, man. It's EDI Main TV. Where I talk my truth. This ain't they truth. You know, it's my truth. Appreciate y'all, man. Tap in with y'all later. One.